So over the years, I've built hundreds of websites and web animations, and I've noticed a clear pattern in design. Trust me, every stunning sight of the day or sight of the year animation that you see on awards is using one or all of the three techniques I'm about to show you. These techniques are what make animations look visually stunning, and they're the real secret sauce behind award-winning websites. By the way, this video is brought to you by our very own plugin, Blog World. More about them later, let's get started. So the first technique that I use all the time, and you've probably seen it on a bunch of different websites on awards, is scroll tracking. Basically, it's a technique where you track the progress as you scroll through a page, and you can use this to create some fancy animations. There are many tools to help you do that, but a couple that I personally like are Scroll Trigger by GSAP and Animation Add-ons for Elementor. I really like these two, but there can be a small problem with this type of animation. A lot of times, when you're scrolling through the mouse, it won't feel as smooth. It will be a bit jittery. And as your animations are tied to that, they'll also end up looking jittery. What I like to do, and what other web designers also recommend, is using a smooth scroll. The most popular one is Lenis Scroll, which adds this extra layer on top to help you create smoother animations. Now the second technique is CSS Sticky Position. And it's probably the easiest technique of all of them because it simply uses the CSS Sticky property. Even though it's super easy to use, in my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. The only catch is that you're a bit limited by your own design skills. That said, it's used everywhere and you'd be surprised to see how many animations would either not work at all or just be super buggy. All in all, the sticky position is, in my opinion, top tier on this list. And one pro tip for all my Elementor free users, you can just drop in an HTML widget and type position sticky with either top 10 pixels or bottom 10 pixels, and the sticky effect will start working for that element. Just make sure to add the CSS class to the element you want to make sticky and reference that class in the HTML code. Now, the third technique is motion effects. I know it might sound a bit scary at first, like how do I actually add motion to my websites or is that even a thing? But trust me, this is becoming one of the most important parts of a website to master if you want to give your website a certain feel. You know those websites that you look at and they just feel different? A lot of time, I believe motion effects have a huge role in that. They set the vibe and they set the mood for the website. So I think mastering this technique is something we all need to do. Now, learning these techniques is just the first step. You actually need to start using them on your website. At some point, you'll want to make sure you have a staging site ready where you can safely test out different changes and effects. Basically, staging is super important. And that's why we built a free tool that lets you back up your site and even create a staging site in just one click. The link is in the pinned comment below, so definitely check it out.